Hello everybody. So today we're going to talk about three-dimensional figures. We're, on, we're in lesson 11.4 and our essential question is how can you identify, describe, and classify three-dimensional figures? We're on page 477 of the fifth grade goal math textbook. All right. Looking at the unlock the problem, a solid figure has three dimensions, length, width, and height. So polyhedrons, such as prisms and pyramids, are three-dimensional figures with faces that are polygons. A prism is a polyhedron that has two congruent polygons <clears throat> as bases. So we know something is a prism if it has two congruent bases. A polyhedron's lateral faces are polygons that connect with the bases. The lateral faces of a prism are rectangles. So here we see we have a triangle base, we have a triangle base, and the faces, the lateral faces, the sides, the faces on the side connecting to the base are rectangles. So a prism's base shape is used to name the solid figure. So in this case, we would call that a triangular prism, okay, triangular prism. So identify the base shape of the prism. Use the terms in the box to correctly name the prism by its shape. So the top and the bottom of this shape, we see our rectangles, right? So we would write rectangle. And so the name of it would be a rectangular prism okay because the lateral faces that are connecting the bases are rectangles okay now this base shape i see one two three four five sides so that's a pentagon i see that the side the lateral faces are rectangles so we call this a pentagonal prism okay over here in the purple we have the different types of prisms decagonal prism octagonal hexagonal pentagonal rectangular and triangular prisms <clears throat> All right, so the base shape of this one is one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a hexagon. The lateral faces are rectangles. So it's a hexagonal prism. The base shape of this last one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that base shape is an octagon. It's Lateral faces are rectangles, so octagonal or octagonal prism. Okay, what special prism has congruent squares for bases and lateral faces? So in other words, all six faces are, or the two bases are squares and the four faces are squares. We would call that a cube. Okay. All right, page 478. Now, the other type is a pyramid. And now this one, it has only one base. So if you notice a shape that has only one base, you know it's going to be a pyramid. The other giveaway is that the lateral faces are triangles. So when you look at this shape on the bottom, and then all the side shapes, you'll notice the side shapes are all triangles. And they meet at a common vertex at the top. Okay. So in this one, the base shape is a triangle. So it is a triangular pyramid. This base shape, we can say, is a square or rectangle is also fine. So we'd call this a rectangular 
or square pyramid. Either name is correct for that. All right, in this one, we have a pentagon as a base. One, two, three, four, five. So the base shape is a pentagon. The la faces, lateral faces are triangles, meeting at a common vertex at the top. So this is a pentagonal pyramid. All right. <clears throat> so some non-polyhedrons are three-dimensional figures that have curved surfaces. So those figures are not polyhedrons. And so a cone is one type. You notice that its base is circular. So it's going to be consist consist of smaller and smaller circular um, layers until you get to the top. Okay, the base here is circular. Uh, circle. It's has a it's called a cylinder. It has two congruent circular bases and one curved surface. And then a sphere. It doesn't have any base bases and it has one curved surface okay so let's keep those in mind so number one classify the solid figure as a prism a pyramid a cone a cylinder or a sphere so all we have to decide is if it's a prism per pyramid cone cylinder or sphere all right so i see a lateral face that's a rectangle so this would be a prism this has no bases and it has a curved surface, so that's a sphere. Here we have lateral faces that are triangles that meet at a point at the top, so that has to be a pyramid. All right, now four, five, and six actually give the name of the figure. So look at the base. What is the shape of the base? Two, three, four, five. So this is a pentagonal. And then look at the sides. If they're rectangles, we call that prism. All right, number five. Again, look at the base. One, two, three, four, five. So again, it's pentagonal. But look at the lateral faces. This time we have triangles meeting at a common vertex at the top. So this is a pentagonal pyramid. Okay, number six, we have two congruent circular bases and one curved surface. So this is a cylinder. And right, number seven, classify the solid figure again as prism, pyramid, cone, cylinder, or sphere. So these faces are all rectangles. So this is a, rect um, is a prism. Number eight is a cylinder, two circular bases, congruent circular bases, and this is a cone. All right, give the actual name. So I see a triangular base. The lateral faces are also triangles, so triangular pyramid. Number 11, the base are rectangles. The lateral faces are rectangles, so a rectangular prism. <clears throat> and number 12, we have a triangular base, but we have lateral faces that are rectangles, so a triangular prism. 13, one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So hexagonal. Its lateral faces are all rectangles. So hexagonal prism. Okay, number 14, we have a square base. So we can call this a rectangular or square. And what are the lateral side, the lateral faces? They're triangles. So rectangular or a square pyramid. And 15, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. So the bases are octagons. 
so octog octagonal and the faces lateral faces are rectangles so octagonal prism <clears throat> 16. Mario is making a sculpture out of stone. He starts by carving a base with five sides. That means it's a pentagon, right? The base is a pentagon. He then car carves five triangular lateral faces that meet at a point at the top. What three-dimensional figure does Mario make? So we know it's pentagonal and the sides are triangular faces that meet a point at a top at the top so pyramid okay 17 what is another name for a cube and explain your reasoning well we could call it a rectangular prism because The bases are squares and the lateral bases are squares. Squares are also rectangles. Okay. So a cube is also a rectangular prism. All right, 18, compare the characteristics of prisms and pyramids. Tell how they are like and how they're different. All right, so when we name pyramids and prisms, they get their name from the bases. <clears throat> prisms will have two congruent bases and rectangular lateral faces. while pyramids have exactly one base and will have triangular lateral faces. Okay, 19. Write the letter in the box that correctly describes the three-dimensional figure. Okay, well, this is made up of rectangular faces, so that's a prism. This is triangular lateral faces, so that's a pyramid. This has rectangular faces, so that's a prism. And D, it meets at one at the point at the top, has triangular sides or faces, so that is a pyramid. All right, <clears throat> the last section. Identify the details. If you were given a description of a building and asked to identify which of these three buildings is described, which details would you use to determine the building? A word problem contains details that help you solve the problem. Some details are meaningful and are important to finding the solution, and some details may not be. Identify the details you need to solve the problem. All right, so read the description. Underline the details you need to identify the solid figure that will name the correct building. All right, so first one. This building is one of the most identifiable structures in its city skyline. It has a square foundation, 28 floors, meaning it has height. The building has four triangular exterior faces that meet at a point at the top of the structure. <clears throat> so I know it's a pyramid, and I know its base is a square. So I'm looking for a square pyramid. Well, this has a triangular base with rectangular faces. So that's a prism, not a pyramid. This is cylinder-shaped, so it's the Luxor Hotel. 
is the building and we would call it a square pyramid. You could also call it a rectangular pyramid. So rectangular or square pyramid, the Luxor Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, and 21. This building was completed in 1902. It has a triangular foundation and a triangular roof. So that means it has two bases and the three sides are rectangles. So we know the name of it is a triangular prism. And that building is the flat iron building. Okay. So that's, that's it for naming uh, three-dimensional figures. In our next lesson, we'll be talking about unit cubes and solid figures. So until then, I will see you soon.